Harvey, first of all, I've been waiting a few weeks to just have a, a catch up with you. You've been in the building now for a few weeks. How's it all going? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, I don't want to sound too cliche, but the lads have been really welcome, genuinely. And um, I know that there's quite a few scouts here as well, so it's made me feel a bit more at home as well. Oh dear, more scouts as, as we know, so you're taking over, but for you on a, on, on a personal note, you're right in at the beginning of pre-season, how's it going? Yes, yeah, it's, it's very tough, um, training's a bit different and it's been, it's been tough, my body's been a bit sore, but I've enjoyed it, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying working hard and I'm feeling good as well. Is this a completely different pre-season to what you would be doing at Liverpool? Uh, it's not too different. Schedule's pretty similar. Double sessions on most days, um, a day off here and there. But the training loads a bit different. Um, a bit more focusing on the physical side and stuff. But it's it's what I need. So I'm happy to like keep going. And, f and for you as well to be in right at the beginning is a big help, is it? Because it gets used to the the surroundings. You get used to your teammates. You get used to what the manager management team is looking for as well. Yeah, exactly. Like. Um, I've been in since the first day, I didn't want to leave it too long to get signed, I wanted to come straight in, meet all the lads um, and get used to the way we play because obviously it's a bit different. Um, it's definitely um, something that I need to work on in terms of learning different styles of play because um, the Liverpool is pretty similar. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it is different but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. How pleased are you that you know you've been able to come out now to a football league club that Liverpool allowed that? Yeah, it's really good for me in my development. You know, it's the next step for me now. Um, I was lucky enough to be around um, the first team at Liverpool, and now it's time for me to come in and play a lot of games now. Talk us through being involved at first team level. What's it like for for a young lad who's a, a Liverpool boy to be to be with Liverpool's superstars? Yeah, it, at first it's a bit intimidating, but once you get used to it, you settle down and you're fine. And they're, they're just normal people, so you don't really get too overwhelmed. Maybe when I first went to train with them and met them and stuff, but they're all really good lads. So. And how much have they helped you? You know those goalkeepers as well that you've worked with and trained with. Yeah, they're so good, honestly. Like. They've been a massive part of my development over the past couple of years. Um, and it's the same here, though, with um, Trigg, Boovey and Westy when he's been training with us as well. They've helped me a lot, they've pushed me through, they've pushed me hard. And they're just really good guys as well. It was a move that you probably wanted as well, is it? You feel that you know, this is the time now to, to start your, your, next, your next part of your career. Hopefully, you know, going to get playing in the Premier League. But this is what you needed. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what I needed. It's the next step for me. Um, I was made up when I got offered to be able to get a loan in the league and if, if any young keeper gets the opportunity I'd snap your hand off for it so I was buzzing and when I heard it I said yeah. It's interesting isn't it that you're sitting here now where two other young goalkeepers here last year are saying exactly the same Arthur Conquo, Arsenal and James Beadle, Brighton you know, you, you know both of those lads and they, they felt the same so is that a, a, a good reason why you came here as well, to see what they'd done? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's one of the reasons. I saw how well they'd done and, and done well on the team. And, and they were both similar to me, both young lads from big academies. Um, so I thought, yeah, if, if I can do half as well as they've done, I'll do all right. There's a bit of a character, Fred Barber, isn't he? Your goalkeeping coach now. You've met up with him, but to talk us through, what's he like as a, as a goalkeeping coach in terms of pre-season for you? Yeah, he's really good. He works a bit different to how maybe some other coaches would work and focuses a lot more on the physical side and, and things like that. But the style that he is training is it's really helpful because he works a lot in small goals. And when you're absolutely knackered on like your 10th rep, for example, it's like if you, you're able to do that in training when you're knackered, on a game day when you've just got to do one, it should just be really easy. And I've, when we're doing games in training, I can feel the difference and I feel a lot quicker and sharper. So there is a, a clear method there and it, I can see it's working. And for you, on a personal note, you're building up to what, hopefully August the 5th, the opening game of the season, head over to Mansfield and you get the, the number one jersey. But as you quite rightly pointed out earlier, you've got competition as well. Yeah, exactly. I've got to earn that. Um, the first thing the manager said to me, was um, the, yeah, I'm coming in on loan, but at the same time, I've still got to train better and harder than 
um, the others and prove that I am worthy of the share, basically.